are many diverse ethnic groups in China, where billions of people live. Some of these ethnic groups are the Mia people, who live in the mountainous regions of southwest China and have a population of more than 9 million. Various tribes emerge among this community, and these tribes adopted different traditions and cultures. These new tribes became known for their clothing, celebrations, and decorations, and were named accordingly. The most notable of these tribes in Chanjamia, who lives in the village of Longa. They are also called Longhorns. Tribal women wear head ornaments made of animal horns on special occasions. At first glance, these headdresses may seem interesting to you, but for a Mia woman, this tradition is seen as an important ancestral legacy. On special occasions, the wooden horns are applied and the long hair is wrapped tightly around it and given its final shape. Each hairpiece weighs approximately 3 kilograms and is made of ancestral hair and threads. Even the youngest girls of the village wear these headdresses and sometimes they have difficulty because it is too heavy. Likely, they don't have to live like this all their lives, just on special occasions. But it wasn't like that in the past. Women wore wooden horn dresses every day, even when working in the fields. Clothes and customs play an important distinctive role in shaping the identities of the tribes. The Longhorn Mia tribal women looking good with their unique customs. They wear tribal dress during festivals and special celebratory seasons. The elaborate colors and intricate patterns on the fabric contribute to the expression of the emotions of this community. Another feature of the Mia community is that women learn how to make batik and embroider from an early age. Girls who can view difficult and complex patterns are considered as hardworking and intelligent by society. Traditionally, the women of Longar Mia use wax paraffin dyeing technique to decorate their clothes. The Longar Mia women also have a talent for paper cutting and intricate jewelry casting. Additionally, Mia silver jewelry is distinctive for its design style and craftsmanship. This jewelry is carved with decorative patterns is completely handmade and it's not easy to make it. These masterpieces are highly valued. The role of Mia women in society is undeniably strong. They have relatively social freedoms compared to other areas of China. They actively contribute to their communities in social welfare, education, arts, and agricultural farming. As tourism became a major economic activity for this ethnic group, Mia women gained more opportunities to join the labor force and earn an income. Women must take charge of providing the best customer service to tourists such as working as tour guides, selling craft work and souvenirs, teaching tourists how to make flower wreaths and even renting ethnic customs. There's a cultural value of festivals for the Mia people and the reason is so simple. People who live in the mountainous areas normally can't get together. Thanks to these traditional festivals, they can find an opportunity to communicate with each other which allows traditional culture to play an important role in the construction of a harmonious society. Agriculture and craftworks also play an important role for the Miao people. One of their stable foods are rice and maize. Their diet is relatively simple. They mostly like to eat fish in sour soup. Apart from the ordinary ways of steaming and boiling, there are many other ways of cooking, such as rice noodles, fragrant bamboo rice, and rice cakes. They also consume vegetables and herbs to remove summer heats. 
And there are also dishes that some tourists do not prefer to try. Some of them are the most special dishes for meals. They eat bamboo worms, yellow ant eggs, beetle eggs, and other worms are part of their cuisine. Oil tea is the most common daily drink. It sounds strange hearing this kind of drink, but in China, drinking oil tea is so popular. It originates from ethnic people living in mountainous areas. Oil tea is prepared by frying tea leaves with garlic, salt, ginger, chili, and its taste is unique and strong. There is so much to learn about this tribe and this area of China. Lastly, the architecture of Mia reflects their unique identity, just like their traditional clothes. Some of its villages have even been recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites. The Mia people build villages based on clan. Each clan builds its own villages on different mountain slopes in Guizhou. Most of these magnificent houses made of wood with a mountain-shaped structure and a wide variety of styles. The building types include restaurants, retail, exhibition, worship, residence, education, and public facilities. There is still so much to learn about this colorful and rich cultural community. Definitely one of the must explore places on the earth. Thank you for watching, be sure to subscribe to our channel.